Okay, today we're talking about arithmetic and geometric sequences. Sequence is just a fancy word for pattern. Um, so just know when we talk about sequences, we're going to be looking for a pattern and how to define that. Um, N tells us the position, and F of N tells us what the term is. So for example, if it says F of 3 equals 8, that means the third term in the sequence is 8. So that would be like, you may have, I don't know how, it doesn't matter how many numbers, but whatever the pattern is, the third number is 8. That's what that notation means. f of n minus 1, so that's all one thing that's going to be glued together, we're not distributing that or anything else, will always mean the previous term. Um, the last two little definitions that you need to know, some of these you may have seen before and some you may have not, um, an explicit rule means you can just plug in to find any term. And a recursive rule requires the first term and you have to count up to get to future terms. Now you're going to see what I mean by that here in a minute, but I would maybe just write that down and then I'll show you the difference between the two. All right, so let's look at um, some sequences here. So notice the N up here at the top. This is just telling us the zero term, one, two, three, four. All right, that's just counting for us. Um, and then on the other side, same thing. So this, this would mean like the first term is six. All right, so let's look at um, how this works. If we try to notice the pattern, we either need it to be, we need it to be doing the same thing every time. So if we try to use addition, um, this is adding something different every time, which means that's not the pattern I want to use. Okay, so we need to come up with a different pattern there. So instead of addition, you may notice that right here, if we go from one term to the next, this is multiplying by 2. Multiply by 2. All right, that is what makes this a geometric sequence. Um, a geometric sequence, you are either going to multiply or divide by the same um, ratio every time, each time. All right, so this value right here is called the common ratio. All right, let's look at how, oh, ratio, not ratio. Let's look at how um, the other one might be different. So in this other one, we're not multiplying by anything. Um, notice but that you're subtracting four every single time. So on this um, second example, this is an example of arithmetic. And on this, the rule is that you're either adding, or the definition rather, you're adding or subtracting the same, uh, we call it the common difference. So the same difference each time. And we can make a note in your notes that this right here is called the common difference. All right, so if we look at the recursive rule, remember your definition of recursive, you have to define where you're gonna start, and then we're gonna um, count up. So this is what I mean by that. The first thing that we have to do for recursive rules say where we're starting. So in this sequence, they tell me that the zero term is three. So we literally just write that. The zero term is three. Okay, and even though this is going to look confusing, recursive rule is actually pretty simple. Um, the rule is f of n, so that's like your next term, equals the previous term. Remember, previous is f of n minus 1. And then think about what are you doing every time you're multiplying by 2. So it's f of n minus 1 times 2. That's all you have to do there. All right, similarly for the arithmetic sequence, we say with where we're going to start. So this one starts at the first term. So the first term is 29. And then we can say to find each term, we're going to take the previous term. And we are going to, this time we're subtracting, subtract 4 every time. Okay, that, it looks complicated, but that is really simple. You're All you're doing is using the rule, talking about the previous term and the rule every single time. Explicit is a little bit different, um, and I'm actually going to start with the arithmetic this time. Explicit in arithmetic is like saying y equals 
mx plus b, where b is your starting point and m is what you're counting by. But remember, b, remember mathematicians are weird and they start at zero. So you kind of have to count backwards to get to that. So this one would be f of n equals, each time it's changing by four, so that's negative four x plus, and to figure out this part, we've got to look back all the way back up here at our sequence and think about what would have been the zero term. Well, to do that, we're going to have to go backwards and add 4. If we add 4, we get 33. So here my rule would be negative 4, and that shouldn't be x. That should be negative 4n. So we can make that an n instead, negative 4n plus 33. All right, we'll talk about how to use that here in a minute. Um, the explicit rule for geometric is very similar. Um, it's going to look a little different though. So f of n equals, this time we're multiplying. So we're going to say where we're starting, which is at 3. And then we want to multiply by 2 over and over again. Well, when we multiply over and over and over again, remember that's exponents. So that means I want to use an exponent to say that. All right, because exponents are repeated multiplication. All right, so on this one, if we try to see what's happening, um, here each time we are multiplying by 5. You may not notice that at the very beginning, but you notice it as you get to the end of the table. So this is going to be geometric because it's multiplication. Um, if we do the explicit Actually, let's do, I said that, let's do the recursive first. The recursive is the easy one. So recursive, we have to figure out where we're starting. So we just say f of 1 equals 1 over 25. And then we say to find the next term, we use the previous term. So if you need to write in your notes that um, the first one means, that means next, and this one means previous. So the next term is the previous term times 5, because we're multiplying by 5 every time. The explicit rule, we don't have to say where we're starting. Um, we will say that in the equation. So in the explicit rule, it's f of n equals our starting point, which is 1 over 25. Oh, I lied to you. Remember, mathematicians have to start at 0, so we actually have to go back and figure out what's the 0 term. And that would be 1 over 125. I can help you with that if you need that part tomorrow. So where we're going to start times, now we're multiplying by 5, but since we're doing that over and over and over again, my variable is an exponent because we're multiplying over and over and over again. That's what exponents mean. Okay, um, I know that may have been a little bit confusing, but go back and rewatch what you need to, and we'll use this to do some more things tomorrow.